Fernzilla in the Art of the Ewe here with a quick tutorial on a great way to use main stage to set up presets, your own list of presets where you can go right from one to the other. What I've started out here with is uh, the exact song that you get. Uh, it's concert file that you get with instant Ewe. And uh, when you load it up, it should play right away with uh, this ES2 synth sound. You know, if you want to see that sound, you go right over here and uh, click on the ES2 synth. There it is, right there. And you can go through patches right here. But this is bright as fuzz. So let's say, you know, we go, oh, we want to keep that. So let's go over here and copy this synth. We'll hit Command C. And then uh, we're going to hit Command B. And now we have a duplicate of that. All ready to go. So let's go back and rename this uh, brightest fuzz lead. You know, we'll just uh, kind of. Do our bookkeeping with this. It's always good to name things. I've, I've learned that just as you go, name stuff. So let's say we want to change this to something else. We want, you know, we're going to go through our ES2 synth leads. Here's the quickest way to do that. You click on ES2 over here, then go right here where it says brightest fuzz. And now you can use your up and down arrow keys to just go through. <laughs> I'm not checking every one. Uh, let's keep that. Okay, so now I have Miami lead. So let me just name this Miami lead. Now remember the first one that I copied uh, is still in my uh, clipboard. So let me hit Command V and uh, copy it in again. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me show you how versatile this is. Let's put in uh, something completely different. Uh, kind of good thing to have in your collection is uh, Alchemy. They have a free version of it that comes with uh, quite a bit of sounds. There's some cool stuff in here. Uh, let's just go to uh, a lead real quick. Let's see, what do we have here? Power lead. All right, I kind of like that. So uh, now we've got uh, alchemy there. So let's, uh, you know, we could call this uh, power lead here. Now another thing you can do down here uh, on your attributes, see this icon for ES2. Since I changed this to something else, like a a synth, you know, I might decide I want to use something like this, you know, you know, as a soft synth or for alchemy or something like that. So now I have uh, three sounds. Let's say I'm continuing on. I'm going to hit Command V. Again, you know, I've got a copy of that same thing, but now I can put in <clears throat> something completely different here. Let me go and uh, let me put in Sample Tank. I can multimedia sample tank we'll put in a stereo version of uh, sample tank now all of these see as they come down the instant ewe's automatically on it and these are just factory presets i've got a ton of uh uh combis here a lot of them i haven't even played let me just oh china wind well we always like stuff with wind in it let's see Okay, let's say I like that. I'm just going to move right right along, and I might name this uh, China Wind. Makes sense, and go down here and change my uh, like for sample tank. I actually kind of, oops, I like to use this sample. Yep, I like to use that right there. For sample tank, and you know, we can keep going. Let me put in 
something else. Command V again, just show you the difference. I can go back to uh, another logic instrument here. Sculpture. Sculpture is pretty cool. There's sculpture right there. Let's put in a sculpture. And uh, like I said, a quick way, you can do it right here when you call the, the synth up. Uh, pick a patch. There's a couple ways to go through. I don't know. Let's find something kind of uh, warped sculptures. Yeah, what's in here? Let's see. Electric drop blood. Uh, not that. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's see. I want to get something out of here, though. Let's see. Marbles in a glass bowl. That sounds good. Let's see. Check it out. pretty cool I got control of uh, the kind of volume coming in and out amplitude modulation on that with my breath so let's just call this uh, marbles in a bowl in a bowl and this is the sculpture so there's a there's an icon for that Let's see, I think it's, there it is, right there. Let's see, so, now we've got that. Uh, let's put a couple more things in. Let's see, we hit Command B again. See how fast this is? You find the sound you want, name it as you go, and I'm going to show you that it gets even cooler here in a minute. All right, we definitely want to get some sample sounds in, so let's get a EXS uh, 24, and... Uh, might as well grab some brass, orchestral, brass, let's see, full, full brass, yeah, let's get the full, full brass section in there. Now let me show you one thing that helps uh, with this EX24, especially with uh, your sampled sounds you know they make them so keyboard players can get some volume control so you have you know this is opened up that's how much of the volume is controlled by velocity so if i hit something soft you know even with the instant anyway i don't have a lot of headroom but all i have to do close this up usually not all the way but now i've got see now i can hit soft so There's a nice uh, full brass sound there. So we'll just uh, call this full brass. Full brass. And go down here and grab our uh, EXS icon, which is right here. Okay. And uh, let's put one more thing I want to show you. So pretty cool here in. Uh, main stage you get all this stuff and you got a lot of uh garage band stuff let's put let's put one more thing in here you know we still you know we're still copying that original sound but see how fast this is and it's all set up here we're just getting the sounds in right now so let's load a garage band sound garage band instruments uh analog mono sure let's just grab a stereo instance of that and So that's cool. Uh, let's just call this uh, analog mono. And uh, now we're set to go. I don't know if there's a garage man icon in here. I don't know. Don't want to take too much time looking for it. Uh, Let's just uh, use this maybe to indicate that. So, you know, now I've got my list of names. And uh, now here's the cool part. Now we can go to uh, performance mode. There we go. And uh, 
You know, we could even these out and uh, and dial them in. Now, the <clears throat> cool thing here is I've also automated my uh, clear side keys on my EWI, my the octave and the whole key, the upper key, the whole key. I have set to C send CC18, which is on the, you know, decrement, you know, going backwards, and my bottom key, the octave key is uh, set to CC19 which is automated see that button down there lighting up yeah I'm doing that from my Ewe so let's just see how these are going one to the other see I'd like that one to be a little brighter if I'm using that first one is my you know right here is where I can increase so let's go to the next one. Right, this power lead. Okay, so now we got, now we got this China win. I just use this comp gain to like even my patches out. One more delay on this one, maybe. Okay, now we can go to the marble in the bowl. Then we got a brass, and then finally this uh, garage band and long metal. These were sounds I was using for a set that I was getting ready to do, uh, or that I just wanted to make sure I had uh, together for a jam. Now I can uh, save this concert with this set of instruments, and uh, you know I'm not even having to touch my computer. I can go back and forth from these. <laughs> keep it in uh, performance mode so I can see what's going on here with my memory and MIDI and CPU but uh, <clears throat> if you're really on stage and playing this full screen mode is great I mean look at that being able to look down and see that and you could have all your patches you need just lined up here all uh, you can use the same interface even when you don't need the instant EWI it's nice to see your breath coming through here but this is how quick these were all factory presets not a single one were uh, tweak for breath at all. Uh, this is Burnzilla in the Art of the Ewe with uh, concepts for main stage and just being able to qu make a quick list of your patches. And, uh, in fact, I'm going to save this one and have some fun with it. In fact, always remember, experiment, have fun, and be musical. I teach all of this and more on Skype, so hit me up at jazzewe at gmail.com. See you next time. Peace.